If the oceans, plants and soil that cover our planet were stripped away, Earth would look like the moon, a patchwork of light and dark grey rock. The lighter areas are the continents, setting up out of the darker, heavier basalt rock of the ocean floor. Like a cracked egg, the whole surface of the globe is divided into 15 or so giant plates, huge slabs of rock under both oceans and the continents. The plates don't stay still. They are forever on the move, about as fast as your fingernails grow. They are continually being created at huge ridges in the middle of the oceans and being destroyed at the edges where plates crash into one another and are pulled back down into the earth. What drives this immense movement? To find the answer, we have to look deeper into the Earth itself. The inside of the Earth is heated by nuclear power, the breakdown of radioactive elements like uranium. Hot rock expands and forces its way upwards towards the surface. There it cools and moves sideways, oozing out to form new ocean floor at the mid-ocean ridges and sinking down again, taking the plates with it at subduction zones. It's called a convection current, and it's like a pot of soup on a rolling boil, but happening very slowly on a planetary scale. This is the engine that drives the world's volcanoes.